Hi guys, welcome back. Today is a nice somber day in the city. Um, I thought I would take advantage and get some work done. So I've been running around all day, um, getting some things completed, which were on my to-do list, some emails and just catching up with all that jazz basically. So I was feeling just very inspired today um, in this moment to just pull the camera out and just say hi. <laughs> so here I am. I hope you all are doing well wherever you might be. I hope you're all doing good. So you're probably going to be seeing a lot of people walking up and down because I'm in a pretty busy area right now in the city but in the midst of all the chaos I think it's really important to take time out you know we find ourselves getting lost in just the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of everything and it's important to stop and to, you know, regroup with your mind, your body, and your spirit. Just ground yourself wherever you might be. Very often, you know, people will say, oh, you just need to relax, you just need to take it easy, you just need to, you know, step away from those environments or people or places or things that might, you know, bring a bit of stress. But, it's like, how can you do that? Because coming from myself as a person who is usually always busy, always has something to do, always has something to complete, it's like stopping can sometimes be a struggle because you might feel guilty for it to say, okay, if I take a break, am I to say like, if I take a break, am I giving up on myself? Am I letting myself down by, you know, removing my attention from the things which I know I want to get done? But pacing yourself and allowing yourself to have these moments where you just step out, close the laptop, put your phone down, whatever it might be that's you know, whatever that outlet might be that's bringing in this um, work or stress or just that energy, it's, it's okay. It's okay to just put it to the side for a little bit and to allow yourself these moments to regroup, to gather your thought, to center yourself, your spirit, you know, to really come back to yourself because we're interacting with people, with our environment, and whether we realize it or not, consciously or unconsciously, we're exerting so much of our energy out, and it's important to really just take that back, you know? Take it back into yourself and just ground, ground your spirit in that sense, as well as your body, you know? Step out of the office during your lunch break or I don't know, whatever your work environment might be just remove yourself from it just for a little bit you know just for a little time because you deserve you deserve that you deserve that break because if you keep going and you keep going and you keep going eventually you're gonna suffer from burnout and you're gonna exhaust yourself and that's no good um, that is no good for you or what you're trying to accomplish because you're going to be less focused, less driven, less inspired, like, yeah, less inspired to get the thing done. So just give yourself that moment, that time to just chill out. And then once you feel as though you're back to yourself on all three levels, as I said, mind, body and spirit, then you can begin again. You can continue. So, yeah. That is exactly what I'm doing right now in this moment. Um, I'm just giving myself some time to silence my thoughts, to regather myself.
exactly regather myself so I can continue again so yeah I just wanted to come on here I'm so sorry it's so cold I just wanted to come on here just to say that point and I'll probably give you guys a bit of panoramic scenes here and there <laughs> of my surroundings so you can get the the full idea of this moment so yeah take you guys on like a little walk around the city um, it's like midday so it's busy but it's not too bad today um, and yeah like self-motivation to keep going and to keep pushing you know forward for the things which you want to do for example I'm working on a lot of projects right now a lot of cool stuff which is going to be coming in due time and I like pretty much almost everything else I do I'm like a one-man show <laughs> so for me I always have to keep finding that Hold on guys, sorry It's a lot of traffic I always have to keep finding that um, Self-motivation to keep like going because That's literally the only thing stopping you from Pursuing Your endeavors or giving up Doing something or not doing something It's literally just that, it's motivation so, what do we do? We continue to practice self-talk as I always discuss with you guys. And we find that motivation within. And what I like to do is to focus on the why. Focus on the why. Why am I doing this? Why am I pursuing this? Why am I working towards this? When you can get these answers and you can apply this why to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whatever answer you get is what you should focus on. When you feel like giving up or you feel like exhausted, or you feel that self-doubt creeping in saying oh maybe I'm not so cut out for this or maybe I don't have what it takes to achieve this thing focus on the answer to your why you know for me that would be the fact that I know that I am continuously bettering myself and bettering others by pursuing this endeavor, pursuing this dream, this goal of mine. When you just walk around aimlessly and you just live like very passively, like, oh, go with the flow, like, going with the flow is not what people think. Going with the flow is not just wandering around like a headless chicken, unaware, with no sense of direction, no. Going with the flow is when you put a plan into place and you make the conscious effort to put it into action through everything that you do. 
And then after that, you can only go with the flow. You can trust the process, trust the things that are gonna come, trust any obstacle trust that any obstacles that you might encounter or experience along that way are going to help you. They're going to be bettering you and they're going to be guiding you to your end goal, to your why. And as you go through that process, as you experience these things in the, in the pursuit of your purpose, they're all going to aid in your growth in knowledge, growth in awareness, growth in even emotional intelligence on all of these levels you're going to grow and that journey to continue that fight to continue that yeah that journey towards your your dream towards your purpose towards your goal so yeah focus on the answer to your why definitely i would definitely do that yeah it's a nice day in London. I love when it's quiet in the city because I feel as though I have it all to myself. And by judging my personality so far, I'm sure some of you can tell that I do love my solitude. Because for me, it's within these moments of solitude where there's like no distractions, where there's... I find it much easier. It's much easier to get things done for me when I'm alone as well as to think and be creative also expressive because I feel as though there's no no outer energy or influence or anything else that could be tainting that so yeah get comfortable with being by yourself get comfortable with being in your own company if you struggle to be by yourself to do things alone that's an issue uh, most things, just like most things that can be changed. And by doing that, how you would ask, how would I change that? It's by putting it into practice. Practice solitude, you know, go to a park alone or I don't know, just stroll wherever you might be by yourself. Take walks, take a book, have a meal by yourself. Um, there's so many big and small ways so many different ways that you can practice solitude a lot of growth occurs in those moments in that space of connect with the energies in your environment to connect with yourself to connect with yourself and the energies that are inside of you and it's a really 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 powerful thing um, once you get the hang of it and get comfy in your skin so yeah get comfortable in your skin or with yourself it is important. I mean, you can never run away from yourself. You can't avoid your mind. You can't avoid your body. You can't avoid your spirit and your emotions. So get comfortable with these areas, these locations, these places within and without, internally and externally. Get comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna go get coffee, have some lunch, and continue working towards the answer to my why. And yeah, so thank you all for joining me. I am House of Solace, and until the next, stay blessed.